Angeles and coastal plains, endless views that we're passing through, making our way to a distant place, just us two. Everybody's watching you. Let me see your flowers. <laughs> you look so beautiful. <laughs> Friends and family, we come today at the invitation of Lindsay Page Robertson and Jacob Mark Long to share in the joy of their wedding. This outward celebration that we shall see in here is an expression of their inner love and devotion they have in their hearts for one another. God loves us and created us to love others. Our lives find completion only as we love and are loved in return. Together we can become what we can never become separately, marriages of God. And Jacob and Lindsay are here today desiring to be united in this sacred relationship. Bible teaches that God is love and that love comes from God. From the beginning to the end, the Bible is a love story. There we read of God's love for his people, the love that sent Jesus Christ to the cross, the redeeming love for the sinner, and the abiding love for the redeemed. God can lead us to our life's companion. Abraham prayed that God would find a wife for his son Isaac, and God answered that prayer. When Abraham's servant found Rebekah, the servant bowed and worshiped, praising God. Then he brought her to his master's son. The scripture says that Isaac loved her and he was comforted. God has guided this precious couple, Jacob and Lindsay, to this moment and has blessed their love and brought them together. Father, what a blessed day this is. We've watched this couple here blossom together. Their love for each other, their love for Jesus Christ. No doubt, God, that you guided them together. And Father, what a blessed time this is. 
You're bringing these two together as one. They both know you as their Lord and Savior. They both prayed and they sought you. And God, you've been in it from the beginning. <laughs> You're beautiful. Oh, no. <laughs> really good. You're beautiful. <laughs> the Word of God tells us what love is like and what love does. Love is patient. Love is kind. Is not jealous. Love does not brag. Is not arrogant. Does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own. Is not provoked does not take an account of a wrong suffered, does not rejoin in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Jacob, do you now leave your mother to establish your own home with Lindsay as her husband, to receive her as your wife, to make a home where she will be loved and cared for as long as God grants her life? Yes, sir, I do. Lindsay, do you now leave your mother and father to establish your own home with Jacob as his wife, to receive him as your husband, to make a home where he will be loved and cared for as long as God grants him life? I do. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. The ceremony of marriage in which you have come to be united is the first and oldest ceremony in all the world. Celebrate in the beginning in the presence of God Himself. Marriage is a gift of God given to comfort the sorrows of life and magnify its joys. Marriage is the clasping of hands like you're doing now, the blending of hearts, the union of two lives into one. Your marriage must stand, not by the authority of the state nor by the seal on your wedding certificate, but by the strength of your love and the power of your faith in each other and in God. You can have this kind of home if you continue to recognize that God is a source of romance, love, and affection. For these are his gifts. I, Jacob. I, Jacob. Take you, Lindsay. Take you, Lindsay. To be my wife. To be my wife. I, Lindsay. I, Lindsay. Take you, Jacob. Take you, Jacob. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For, for better. For better. <laughs> <laughs> for worse. For worse. For richer. Richard. For poor. For poor. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are separated by death. Until we are separated by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. You've chosen to exchange rings as a sign and the seal of the vows you're making today. <laughs> Jacob, from time immemorial, the ring has been used to seal important covenants. Today, the ring has gained a far deeper meaning. It's a complete circle without beginning or end. It is symbolic, I trust, of the endlessness of your love for Lindsay. Jacob, will you take the ring, place it on the third finger of Lindsay's left hand, repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, and with all my worldly goods, all my worldly goods, I thee endow. I thee endow. In the name of the Father, <laughs> Father and the Son, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's a big ring. <laughs> Lindsay, you'll notice this ring is made of the purest of metals. It will not turn or tarnish with age. It's symbolic, I trust, of the purity of your love for Jacob. Lindsay, will you take the ring, place it on the third finger of Jacob's left hand, and repeat after me. With this ring, <laughs> with this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And with all my worldly goods. All my worldly goods. With all my worldly goods. <laughs> I thee endow. <laughs> In the name of the Father, in the name of the, the, Father, name of the Son, <laughs> Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. There are two distinct braids representing your two lives up to this moment. Each one is capable of going its separate way. To bring joy and radiance in your home, there must be a merging of these two braids into one. From this time onward, may your thoughts be for each other rather than for your own individual selves. May your plans be mutual, your joys and sorrows shared. You have come before us and before God and expressed your desire to be husband and wife. You have shown your love and affection by the joining of hands, have made promises of faith and devotion to each other, 
and have sealed these promises by the giving and receiving of rings. Now by the power invested me in the state of Mississippi and as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Jacob, you may kiss your bride. Dear friends, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jacob Mark Long. Looking at 